Hi, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and today I have a super cool video for you on how I built a DC power generator out of a lawnmower and an old alternator. So let's check this out. All right, so power generation on any homestead farm, house, anybody, everybody uses electricity is a very important thing, especially if you have important items like medical devices or refrigeration for medicines or whatever that you have to absolutely have working. Now with our jump to trying to get more energy independent, we've uh, selected to use solar as one of those options for a lot of our outbuildings and different things around the homestead. Well, here's the issue. Where we live, it's not always sunny all the time, and we can have several, several days of cloudy. So I did a little research online, and I found a super cool way to turn a lawnmower engine and an old alternator into a DC generator that you can power your battery bank with, or even go directly to an inverter. But that way we can keep our batteries topped off, everybody's happy, 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 and we have our power needs. So I'm gonna show you right now how I put my uh, DC lawnmower uh, alternator generator together, and I hope you like it because it's super cool. So here it is in all its awesomely dirty glory. I pulled it out of the garage and actually in the process I busted the, the cover that goes on top of the air filter there. Um, so I got to get another one of those. But basically what you have is you've got a regular old lawnmower engine, but this one's got a side shaft there. I'm going to build one that goes uh, vertically, but this one was easier to do. And this frame here, this, this is a metal frame, herp, this metal frame here, that I got from a website that I'll list uh, in the uh, in the description and then you've got a regular old alternator that um, came off an older vehicle uh, and here this is important right here see that switch that's so you can charge your field of the alternator once the motors going you need to be able to charge the field so the alternator will actually produce electricity so I'm gonna show this I'm gonna get this thing fired up show this running and um, we'll be right back So there it is, as promised, that is a cool device. All together, I did end up fiddling with an old alternator in the beginning off of an old Ford truck and it, it was working but not as well as I wanted. So I, I made the investment and I bought a new alternator and that frame, that metal frame, that was key. I initially tried to build it out of wood and it really didn't keep everything nice and tight. So the engine was a Harbor Freight engine. I got the thing on sale for a hundred bucks, brand new, couple dollars for the warranty. I believe the metal plate was around $30. I'll try and put the uh, links to the website there for you to get that, um, the, uh, the frame, I, the metal thing that holds the alternator in place and, and to the engine and all that. That was uh, about $30, I wanna say. And then um, the alternator cost me about a hundred bucks. So all said, it's, you could probably go and buy a, uh, a generator that would do the same thing without having to put all this stuff together. To be fair, I want you to, want you to hear that, but I started out with the mentality of, well, I have this lawnmower engine sitting here, it didn't cost me anything, and then I had a truck alternator sitting there and didn't cost me anything. I just ended up getting really into the project and I wanted to do it uh, on a better scale, but you could probably do this really cheap if you have these things laying around your house, your home, your farmstead, your prep, whatever. Uh, so it could cost you nothing to build a super awesome generator to uh, power whatever devices you need or keep your battery banks topped off. So there you have it, super cool. I am Brad with Big Family Homestead. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe, tell everybody about it. It really truly does help us out and you have an amazing day.